Tiranesh Dababa is widely regarded as the greatest distance runner the sport has ever seen. And despite not being able to make the start line to defend her 10,000 meter crown at the 2015 World Championships in Beijing, the distance running dynamo still stood alone as the only woman to win five individual world titles. So let's take a look back at the World Championship wins of the Ethiopian superstar who made a regular habit of accumulating world titles on the track. Number 5. Women's 5,000 meters, Paris, 2003. The women's 5,000 meters at the Paris World Championships featured the toughest preliminaries of any championship 12 and a half lap race to date. 15 minutes and 4 seconds was insufficient to qualify for the final. Given the fast times in the heats, expectations were high that something remarkable was in store for the medal race, but it turned out to be a slow, tactical affair. With two laps to go, 12 of the 15 finalists were still in contention. Even at the 300 meter mark, the lead group was still eight strong. In the final 100 meters, an Ethiopian teenager sneaked up on the outside and produced a devastating turn of speed that left her more experienced rivals behind. Tirinesh Dababa, the world junior cross-country champion, crossed the line in first place to become the youngest ever individual winner of a world title. Number 4. Women's 10,000 meters, Moscow, 2013. At the 2013 World Championships in Moscow, Tirinesh Dababa entered the 10,000 meters as the reigning double Olympic champion in the event and the world leader over 5,000 meters. The world leader over 10,000 meters, Meseret Defar, opted to contest the shorter distance race, leaving Dababa to be installed as the favorite to win her third 10,000 meter world title. Dababa always looked in control during the race, where America's Shalane Flanagan and then Japan's Hiroti Niya set the early pace. The tempo was such that with five laps to go, the lead group had been reduced to five. Using the big screen as an effective rear view mirror, Dababa made her kick for home on the home straight of the penultimate lap. Her compatriot Belenesh Oligera and Kenya's Gladys Chirono responded to go with her, but they simply couldn't overhaul the indomitable Ethiopian Dababa. She continued to cruise away, sprinting over the line with a last lap of 59.9 seconds to claim her third world title at 10,000 meters. In securing a hat-trick of world 10,000 meter crowns, Dibaba joined Alison Felix, Valerie Adams and Maria Matola as the only women to claim three world titles in a single event. Number three, women's 10,000 meters, Helsinki, 2005. In Helsinki 2005, Tirinesh Dababa was attempting an historic double in the 5,000 and 10,000 meters. No woman had successfully completed such a double on the global stage before, but the diminutive Dababa wouldn't be deterred. The longer race was the first to be negotiated. With a characteristic run from the front, Great Britain's Paula Radcliffe set a strong early pace and led the field through halfway in 15 minutes 16.29 seconds. At the bell, all the principals remained in contention. Defending champion Bahani Adiri then took off as though competing in a 400 meter race. Dababa responded instantly, closely followed by her sister Ejigeu Dababa. The race for gold was now a three-way sprint battle between athletes from Ethiopia, but it was still anyone's guess as to who would prevail. With 210 meters to go, Tirinesh Dababa found another gear and moved past the Adiri. The defending champion fought valiantly to retain her crown, but simply couldn't wheel in the irrepressible Dababa, who increased the gap down the home straight to win by 10 meters. A scintillating last lap of 58.4 seconds was testament to Dababa's devastating kick. She had emulated her cousin Daratu Tulu not only by winning 10,000 meter world championship gold, but also by heading an Ethiopian clean sweep, the second time in the event's history that all the medals had gone to one nation. And even though Dababa was only halfway through her attempt to double, her 10,000 meter triumph was enough for her to create yet another chapter in history by becoming the first woman to win world titles at both 5,000 and 10,000 meters. Number two, women's 5,000 meters, Helsinki, 2005. Despite being just 19 years of age at the Helsinki World Championships, Tirinesh Dababa had already created plenty of athletics history. 
but in attempting to retain her 5,000 meter world title, the barber had a date with destiny by seeking to become the first woman ever to win the 5,000 and 10,000 meter double at the same world championships. The barber and her compatriot, Messeret Defar, the reigning Olympic champion, were the favorites. But just how much had the barber's exertions in winning the 10,000 meters taken out of it? A tactical cat and mouse encounter saw seven athletes still in contention at the bell. But the barber kicked with 300 meters remaining and only Defar could go with it. What ensued was an all out sprint for the line between the reigning world and Olympic champion. On more than one occasion, Defar threatened to go past her teammates, but each time the barber responded, keeping her hard charging rival at bay. Defar mounted one final concerted effort to overhaul the barber in the home straight, but the reigning champion responded once more, striding away to successfully defend her world title in a time of 14 minutes 38.59 seconds, a new championship record. The barber was already the first woman to win world titles at 5,000 and 10,000 meters. By retaining her title in the shorter distance in Helsinki, the team sensation added to a growing list of accomplishments by becoming the first woman to secure an unprecedented long distance double at the same world championships. She also led home the first ever sweep of the first four places in a women's event at the world championships. Number one, women's 10,000 meters Osaka 2007 Despite having raced just once outdoors in the season leading up to the World Championships, De Barber was the favourite to retain her 10,000 metre title in Osaka. But events conspired against her and made her historic title defence a dramatic affair. De Barber was suffering from stomach cramps before the race, while 30 degree temperatures made a fast time even more unlikely. Halfway was reached in a pedestrian, 16 minutes, 29.24 seconds. Such bunching always increases the likelihood of contact, and so it proved here, when at 6,000 meters, Ethiopia's Mestawet Tufa and Debaba were involved in a fall. Debaba was left winded and 40 meters adrift. At this point, she looked unlikely to finish the race, let alone defend her title. But Debaba didn't panic. Demonstrating admirable composure, she gradually wound the field back in. It took her four laps to get back in contention, and when Elvana Belagassi of Turkey wound up the pace, De Barber was there to cover the move. At the bell, De Barber hit the front for the first time, sprinting past De Belagassi, who simply couldn't respond. De Barber continued to pull away from her closest rival and ended up cruising to victory by 30 meters. Despite her considerable problems, De Barber covered the last lap in a remarkable 60.11 seconds and created another piece of athletics history by becoming the first woman to successfully retain a 10,000 meter world title. We hope you've enjoyed our look back at these top moments. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts. We'd love to hear from you. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great athletics content and visit IAAF.org for the latest news, updates and information from the world of athletics.